Yeah, day of Monday, the 4th of March. I repotted all my little seedlings into the bigger 3 inch pot. These are the fiber pots you can direct plant into your garden. <clears throat> also, I had to replant a complete row of onion. I say complete. I had three bundles. The first bundle was on the south side row next to the wall. It had 90% dial rate on that one bundle of onion. That's no big deal. Just grab another bundle this morning, planted them. Picked up 20 tomato cages. Same feed store. Nine dollars a piece this year. Kind of high. Also picked up six 38 pounds of weed and feed specific for St. Augustine. And the fertilized one bundle of onion and the tomato cages, $409. And so, well, shit is what it is. Uh, here in town, North side of town this morning is raining pretty good. South side ain't got a dang drop. Not a drop of rain here on the south side. I don't need to mow today. I need to mow sometime this week. And I missed the window for my pre-emergent at my house. My grass is already coming up from being dormant. Uh, it's just a strange winter this year. A few days, the low's gonna be down in the 30s again. That's what messes everybody up. They get in a hurry to plant their garden because you got some nice days, but then it uh, turns off cold. Good Friday, you know, if you plant on or after Good Friday down here, which is March 29th this year, you're safe. 99% of the time, you can get an April blizzard too. Northeast Texas, you never know. Uh, but all the signs are showing an early spring. Y'all probably can't see it from here, but look across the way at all the trees. Hell, all the damn trees are budding out. Uh, oak pollen is real bad down here. You get a yellow coating on all your outside vehicles and your house and everything else. And uh, I got some white oak trees in my backyard. And went out to get in the truck this morning and it's just covered in that real large yellow pollen. It is what it is. What are you gonna do? Stopped and got some more uh, McGuire's car wash concentrate real good stuff I like it it doesn't strip the wax off your vehicle use something any kind of dishwashing detergent will strip off the wax too so don't do that how I filled up both bird feeders I could have swore I filled them up on Saturday it might have been Friday hell it might have been Thursday they are both completely empty today so I got lots and lots of birds coming around. Uh, bird bath was almost empty, which is fine. I'll run out and get more. I like the birds. And, uh, right now, wind coming straight out of the west, which is what's bringing in the rains and the smoky haze from far west and northwest Texas. Texas is a big damn state. Uh, driving distance from where I am to where the wildfires are up in the panhandle is a solid 10 hours. I mean, a solid 10 hours at highway speed. Long way, big state. Uh, let's see, Saturday. Heard a bunch of motorcycles heading out 
before the sun come up. It was about 5.30 in the morning. I had something I had to do Saturday. I can't remember what it was. Oh, that was when I cleaned up my uh, 2003 Anniversary Edition Ultra Low Rider. Took it for a little short ride. And uh, cleaned up real nice, dude. So, that's about all for this one. Let me get back to doing a whole lot of nothing. Thank you.